you meet in a tavern. And it's one of players' biggest complaints because many taverns, maybe even your taverns, are generic and boring. But it doesn't have to be that way. I'm Janet from World Anvil, and in this episode of World Building Inspiration, we're looking at taverns with five great tips on how to make yours feel unique and intriguing. Let's start with the basics. Your world's genre is going to define the structure of your tavern. A cyberpunk tavern, for example, will be full of neon lights and like jukebox chic, but a fantasy tavern will have a fire pit and a bard. If your tavern fits the tropes of your genre, your players will be able to imagine it without you having to make a long description. And that means you can focus on what makes it different without having to describe every detail. But you can also flip the script. A fantasy tavern in a futuristic location might generate some intrigue, and a space bar in the middle of a castle might just be a future plot hook. A consistent campaign often follows a mood or theme. A tavern in a grimdark setting should feel, well, grimdark. Maybe the wood's going rotten, the roof leaks, and the patrons are all in a filthy mood. On the other hand, taverns can be a beacon of light, even in a dark world. If the players are surviving an apocalyptic setting, your tavern can be a sort of checkpoint, indicating to your players that this is safe. You can enhance this feeling with a warm fire, feather beds, and a delicious menu. Either way, choosing the mood and theme and really doubling down on it can give you so much richness for your tavern and make it such a memorable experience for your players. And remember, mood and theme is more than just atmospheric details. If your campaign centers around I don't know, nature reclaiming society, your players might have to slay giant vines that engulf the local tavern. Or, you know, a dragon's using the tavern in its lair. Just saying. And don't forget the basics. A bar, a couple of chairs, some rooms for guests, and an innkeeper with a place to sleep is the basic checklist your tavern should meet. And you might want to throw in a kitchen if your players are hungry. Now, remove one of those elements and you can immediately put your players on edge. If they walk into a tavern that has like zero tables and chairs, they're going to be confused. They're going to be off foot and that's what you want. Equally, taking these elements and applying different skins to them is such a great way to vary your tavern. Is it underwater? The bar could be a big turtle shell. The tables could be made of, of like shipwrecks. And a hermit crab bartender won't need a place to sleep because it's on his back. Tropes can make a place feel generic, but a simple twist or subversion of them can make your tavern really memorable while still being easy for your players to understand. Taverns aren't just a set piece for the next quest giver for a plot. Your player characters are going to spend a lot of time in them. Downtime, planning, collecting information and, well, sleeping all happens in taverns. So why not add some downtime activities to your taverns, too? As well as birds and cards. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Why not go deeper with simple mini-games resolved with a skill check? For example, arm wrestle with a strength check. Play darts with a dexterity check. Players can bet on themselves or other NPCs and let the social shenanigans roll. Some of these, like a dirty card dealer, for example, could even turn into a side quest. Or how about a tabletop game within your tabletop game. How deep can we go? Players love secrets. Hell, we all love secrets. We're all a bit nosy, and we always want to get to the bottom of something mysterious. You can add a wealth of secrets into taverns, like the secret Father help. across your world. Maybe a tavern keeper is a dragon in disguise and there's clues dotted around. Or perhaps a previous adventurer has stashed a hall in the basement and now their ghost guards some magical items. At the risk of sounding like a broken lute, remember your mood and your theme. If you're going for a more light-hearted campaign, maybe the adventurer's ghost will be happy to let them have the treasure in exchange for a good song or a funny riddle. And if you're going for something darker, think how unhappy that dragon innkeeper is going to be once your players figure it out. And there you have it. Five great tips if I do say so myself, on how you can give a little bit of flair to your taverns. But what have I missed? I'd love to read your tips on improving the tavern experience for your players down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you drop us a like and uh, 
maybe subscribe if you're new for some more great world building tips. Now grab your tankard and go world build!